Well, any and every game played here is pretty special. The cop is unique for its atmosphere, an atmosphere enhanced by this splendid new main stand. A warm welcome to you from Anfield. The teams then, Galatasaray against Fenerbahce. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. So it's down to business here. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Asensio, Galatasaray have been just so good at home. You couldn't find fault, Jim. No, I think they've been brilliant at home. Uh, a wonderful success story. I feel I must pay tribute to a side with great desire and industry. They've made this place a... a... It's Marco Asensio! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Eliseu. Mane. Gomis. With the ball through. Gomis. Gomis! That is simply breathtaking! Well, this is already looking rather ominous for the opposition. When a player of his calibre can open up the scoring with a brilliantly classy finish, it could be a very long match for that defence to prevent it happening again. Galatasaray are so well practised in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make it one-way traffic and add to this lead. Up for the header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Looks to slip it through. Tries a through ball. Hurls himself at it! Galatasaray uh, looking pretty solid right now. In a... And Jensen! Yes, it's in! Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. It just got caught napping. Galatasaray are in this rock. Is it in? Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Tries to get it forward quickly. Aimed long and direct. Now the pass. Isla is charging up on the overlap. Isla. through the first period and it's looking quite a game here Casemiro passes it through Gomis and it's Mariano Eliseu Marco Asensio he's got the ball he's got the space Forward it goes. Who's he going to play in? Chip through. Shot looking to shoot. Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Eliseu. Mane. Marco Asensio. Looks like a good ball through. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. That has 
put a stop to that. Passes it through. And the defence can get it clear. Now the pass. Hits one! Goal! Galatasaray! And they've got their lead back. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Galatasaray get themselves into the lead. Long and high towards the flank. Fenerbahce can't seem to retain possession. And the weighted pass. Shot. No, poor contact, nothing on the shot. Well, that is going to be the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right. Can he score? Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Casemiro. And it's for Cooley. It's wrestled off the ball. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Isla tries to stroke it through. Keeps everyone guessing. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Tries a through ball. Isla. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. And it's Jansen. Jansen! There are a few waiting for it. Hit into the middle. Keeper's ball. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace, so they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Now it's Gomis. It's Marco Asensio! Straight at the keeper. Look, that makes it easier for the keeper when he doesn't even have to move his feet. It so nearly came off for him. Marco, he's had a go! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Fenerbahce showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Gomis! Fenerbahce, whose manager came in for a bit of flack after their previous result. I think it was quite fair, the criticism he received. He was blind to an obvious problem, and he was far too slow in, in reacting to it. He was never going to get away with that. Marco Asensio... It's Marco Asensio! Got him rattled. Oh, he really wanted that. Marco Asensio very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. Isla. And it's so very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Played out to the wing. 
deflected over the goal line for a corner. A great ball. Casemiro! And oh! It's obvious that they prefer a greater cushion to sit on at half time, but will they? And a header! Casemiro plays it forward. Well, they could break here. Gomis with the ball through. Faguli shakes the shoots. It's a goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. I think that's happened in this case. Galatasaray, two up and into a position of real strength. Marco looks to slip it through. Faguli, Marco Asensio. And it's been taken straight back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to dink it in. And back to base. And that will be the final act. Galatasaray always looked the more driven side, probably the better side, and nobody is arguing about the results. The end of the game. Reflections? Galatasaray made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about...